Hey guys, it's Kevin. I got my favorite little gun out of here. My little single shot 22. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today, but I figured I'd make a video anyhow. I was sitting here trying to sight this gun in. And I bought some Remington shells here, and I thought Remington was a pretty good shell. Say they're a Super X. Um, says 22 long, 37 grain. 1330 uh, foot per second I've been putting them in here and uh, as I fire it I'm getting a lot of dry fire see here maybe it's gonna prove me wrong I just run eight shells now mind you I haven't used this gun in a while so it might be that it just needs shot a little bit I'm not sure but um, I wanted to do a little squirrel hunting but I definitely want this little gun in aside uh, sighted in So far it's doing pretty good. I'm not sure if it could have been the, the firing pin being dirty or maybe you guys could let me know. There you go. Now you just heard it shoot, it dry fired. Didn't shoot anything. But um, I had quite a few of these and it's putting a little dent in the shell. But could it be something in my gun dirty? Um or could it be a bad shell? So what I've done, I brought my other gun. I have another gun here. I don't use it for hunting. We use them for clinking. And I'm sure you guys know what clinking is. They shoot the little targets. Uh, before I started doing the YouTube videos, I made a lot of them targets. I should have done them on video, but I didn't do them. Let me grab my other gun. I have a little Ruger here. This is a Ruger 1022. Basically, the same suits the exact same shell as this gun over here. But I like to use that one for squirrel hunting. This in here, I just use it for clinking, uh, shooting target, just target shooting. It's a very nice little gun. Um, it's actually got the folding stock. You could fold the stock up, make it a short gun. I mean, you could hold it like that, however. It's got the bipods. Uh, it's a good little gun. I like it. Um, but I, I really only use it for clinking. In our, my state, you're not allowed to hunt with this gun. So basically, it's not worth anything but just to have a little bit of fun. Now, I loaded this gun up with these shells. The same 22 shells, 22 longs that I was using uh, in the other gun. And I'm going to see if this one will uh, shoot all of these shells. So that may tell me if my gun is dirty or something's wrong with that other little gun. Okay, the Ruger's shooting to the right a little bit. So I come back down and it's shooting all these shells fine. And this one wasn't shooting the shells good. You've seen where on the video where one dry fired. Well, I did out of 15. I had eight out of 15 wouldn't fire through the gun. So I have some more shells here. What I'm gonna do, I cleaned inside here a little bit and put a little bit of oil down in there. And I'm gonna see if I can get it to dry fire again. Um, We'll see what happens with a little bit of oil in there cleaned up a little bit. Let's just see if it uh, what happens here. Now, last time I only shot my first shell was a dry fire, so um, who knows. This little guy's shooting pretty much, it's on pretty good right now. It's 
So we may have got the problem fixed. Uh, we put a little bit of oil in there. We cleaned it up a little bit. And it seems like it's shooting all the shells just fine now. That's three. We'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more just see what happens here. I think it's good to go. I think it needed oiled and cleaned a little bit. So, I've probably been neglecting my guns too much. It seems to be working fine. So, I'm going to put this, I'm going to show you guys what I'm shooting at up here. It's a little target. I made these targets a couple years ago. And um, they're pretty nice little targets. I probably should do a couple of them on video. And these just spin when you hit them. Now this one here, I had a washer on the back of here for weight. And that would make it go down. So it would have enough weight for it to stay down like this one. See, it's got a washer on here. And that washer is just weighs more than this one here so it goes down. And actually these are what I'm shooting at when you hear me shooting up there. When I first started this video... I thought I got a box of bad shells, but it turns out that uh, the firing pen and stuff needed cleaned in there. I mean, I just cleaned it out a little bit with a rag and a like a, a Q-tip and um, a little bit of oil, and it seemed to work pretty good. I put a little oil down there; it's working pretty good. But I do need to get that gun tore apart and cleaned. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, I wanted to talk to you just a little bit more about the 1022 Ruger. Um, this is definitely a sweet little gun. Now, the back of this will extend, and I showed you how to fold it. It would fold up. You can fold it up like this, and then, of course, your bipods will go down in. You could, and it, 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 it'll make just as a, uh, I could do this all at one time here. This little guy here wants to slide out. But this is how it works. I mean, and it makes a nice little short gun if you want to take it out. I mean, don't come to the door with something like this. People wouldn't like that too well. But anyhow, uh, beautiful little gun. Um, really nice. Good shooting gun. Ruger's definitely a good gun. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about this one over here. This is a Rossi 22. Now, this gun here, I actually have a... Um, a 12 gauge barrel in there that goes on this too uh, you just pull this off and you pull it apart and you can put you another barrel on there I have a 12 gauge that'll go on this stock too um, it's, it's you know it's definitely a nice little gun for uh, going in uh, squirrel hunting uh, grouse hunting rabbit hunting small game uh, good little gun um, one day I'll do a video on uh, making them uh, little targets, uh, clinker targets, uh, which I enjoy shooting them a lot. Uh, but since the price of the shells have went up so high uh, in the last uh, few years since 9-11, it's been harder to get the 22 shell. I don't understand why, but uh, I guess it's just the way it is. They're starting to come back now. You're starting to be able to buy the shells. So... I wanted to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or if you got a comment there leave me a comment if you'd like till next time